All right, so welcome to today's FlexFit class. We're going to be working in our tabletop position. Um, that's on our hands and knees. So if you know that your knees feel terrible on the floor, um, you should get some extra cushioning for your knees. We'll be on our knees for a little bit. Um, and we're going to get started in our child's pose. So um, we're going to start slowly using our breath. Um, and then we're going to like pump it up a little bit after but always make sure that you're able to breathe if you can't do all the reps then don't struggle through them you don't have to struggle through all the reps no worries about that and um just do as many as you can with good alignment and then i don't know if you can see but i've written <laughs> this fact on the wall here um, it says 70% of your body's waste gets eliminated when you exhale. So if you want to think about that during class, um, the exhalation, you're getting rid of your waste, you're creating space for new things. And also you can, um, you know, set an intention for your exhale. You can either engage the muscles for your exhale or you can let them relax for your exhale. So your exhale has a lot of power. And I thought it was especially cool today because it's supposed to be really windy outside. So it's almost like Mother Nature is also participating in our Flex Fit class today. All right, well, we're going to get started on our, um, on our knees. So we're going to get all the way down into our child's pose. And we're going to start with just breathing down there. So bring your hips onto your heels, toes together. And then if you like, you can bring your knees out a little bit wider. And then just lower yourself all the way down. Resting your forehead onto the floor and stretching your arms out in front. And then just take two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then with your next few breaths, I want you to start to make motions with your body. So inhaling, floating yourself up just a little bit. And then exhale, allowing your body to come back down to the earth. And then keep breathing in this way, small little movements. Do one more breath in and out. And then you're gonna use an exhale to push yourself up to your hands and knees position. And then in your hands and knees position, make sure your knees are underneath your hips. Your feet are parallel behind you. The tops of the toes are resting on the floor. Spread your fingers wide and then um, find like equal pressure between your palms and your fingers pushing down into the floor and start to make small circles around your wrists. Just keeping your arms straight, breathing normal. And then reverse the direction of your circles. And then stop in the center and take a deep breath. And then take another deep breath in. On your exhale, drop your belly down and stretch your tailbone up. Press your chest forward between your arms in front and lift your chin up to the sky. And then inhale, stretch your chest to open a little bit further. And exhale, switch to cat pose, arching and rounding, bringing your chin into your chest, pushing the floor away. And then inhale yourself back into your cow pose, that U shape with your body, reaching your chest and chin up as high as possible. And then exhale out all the air in your cow cat pose. And then keep breathing in this way. Go slowly. And see how much you can fill your chest up full of air. And then exhale, let it go, pulling your belly button deep toward your spine, arching and rounding up as high as possible. Do two more.
when all the air is gone after that last cat pose, find your neutral spine and take a deep breath. The cats are fighting back there. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna expand and contract our side body with our head. So head stays forward for a moment and then take a deep breath in. On your exhale, this time you're gonna twist to look over at your right foot, turning your head, bringing your chin to your shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. And then keep going right and left. I'm gonna get rid of this cat situation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you should really feel this in your side body. Make sure that you're not shifting your weight forward or backward. You're still keeping your center, not like more in your knees, less in your toes. Do one more stretch right and left using your breath. Once all the air is gone, sink your hips onto your heels and relax in a child's pose. Take two deep breaths. And then use your next exhale to push yourself back up to hands and knees. Again, making sure you're stacked right underneath your joints, tops of the toes resting on the floor. We're gonna do our circular cat and cow this time. So drop your belly down, stretch your tailbone up, press the chest forward between your arms in front and lift your chin up to the sky. And then take a deep breath in. On your exhale, circle your whole body toward the right, dropping your chin into your chest as you push the floor away through your cat pose and then coming out the other side. So don't forget about your head and your neck. You're making giant circles with your head. Take it slowly and breathe. And then wherever you are, pause for a moment and stir around the opposite direction. One more giant circle, really push the floor away with your palms and your shins at the same time, and then find your neutral spine. And bring your toes together, sink your hips onto your heels and relax in your child's pose for two deep breaths. Use your next exhale to push yourself back to tabletop position. Stacked right underneath your joints, parallel feet behind you. We're gonna do our scapular push-ups, so elbow stays straight. You're gonna drop your chest down, squeezing your scapula together, and then push the floor away. So down and up, like you're high-fiving your wings back there. There we go, high-five, push. <laughs> And you can time this with your breath too. Inhale as you lower your chest, exhale as you push away. And notice if your body's still doing your cat and cow, try to relax your lumbar spine and just use the shoulders here and that middle and upper back. And then still pushing the floor away with your palms and your fingertips at the same time. Try to stir your shoulders forward and back. Oh, there's something in the air today. Those kitties are crazy. I hope I don't knock over that thing again. <laughs> Reverse the direction of your circles if you can. This might take a little bit to get it going, so just try to stay with it. And make the biggest circles as you can forward and back. And then stopping here, we're gonna flip the back of the palms onto the floor. Give yourself gentle pressure there, so not like full weight, and then just take a deep breath. And then if you can, curl all of your fingers in, thumbs included. Again, gentle pressure onto the floor, deep breath. And then reach the arms out in front again, fingers spread. Bring your toes together, sink your hips onto your heels, and take a child's pose for two deep breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Use your next exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees. Fingers spread wide underneath the shoulders, knees underneath hips, tops of the toes resting onto the floor. Extend your right leg out to the side with a bent knee. Without moving the rest of your body, draw some circles with your knee. Take it slowly, use your breath. Notice if you're sinking into your left hip, don't do that. Push down into the floor with that left shin, shin bone and squeeze your glutes. Reverse the direction of your circle. Good. Yeah, make sure you're making that circle with your knee and not like your foot or anything like that. And you're supposed to have your foot either flexed or pointed, but don't have like a dead foot. <laughs> All right, then we're going to set this leg out to the side, right out from your hip. So not like here or here, it's right out from your hip with a flexed foot. And then make sure your left leg is still parallel and not like that or that, it's right behind you. And we're going to push our hips all the way forward as far as possible, squeezing your butt hip to the floor. And then all the way back, maybe you do like a child's pose situation, sinking your hips back. So use your breath, this is all we're doing. Take it slowly. Squeeze your butt as you press your hip to the floor. Keep your right foot flexed. And if you can, engage the quad muscle of your right leg to keep that right leg straight. Okay, one more time, forward and back. And then when you're all the way back, pull that leg back and you're gonna take a child's pose, relax, two deep breaths. Use an exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees. Again, stacked underneath your joints, parallel feet, tops of the toes onto the floor. Engage your abs, left legs turn, send it out to the side with a bent knee. Don't move the rest of your body and draw circles with your left knee. And breathe. This hit might feel a little bit different than the other. <laughs> I did a lot of sitting this weekend, so this hip is very ornery right now. So I did it. <laughs> Reverse the direction of your circles. And pushing down into the floor with that right shin bone, you're keeping your right hip steady. Don't sink into your right hip. Whew. One more circle. And then extend that left leg out to the side with a flexed foot right out from your hip. Make sure your right leg is parallel. And then using your breath, bring your hips all the way forward, squeezing your pelvis to the floor and then all the way back, bringing your hip onto your heel. And only go through your own personal range of motion. You might notice as you do these, your range of motion might increase as you work through whatever the heck is in your hips. Do one more time, forward and back. And then once your hips onto your heels, pull your left leg back and relax in your child's pose for two deep breaths. We're gonna roll up through our spine for a moment. So keep your hips onto your heels, chin stays into the chest. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. If this feels terrible on your knees like this, you can sit yourself up like this. We're just gonna clasp the fists together and circle our wrists all the way around. And breathe, check in with your shoulders, make sure they're relaxed. And then reverse your circles. And then shake out your hands. And we'll come back to our hands and knees position. Tabletop stacked underneath our joints. Fingers spread wide onto the floor. Parallel feet behind us. We're going to breathe and balance. So stretch your right leg back. Straight leg pointed toe. Left arm reaches forward right beside your ear. And take care that you're not doing one of these. Or like out to the side. Make sure that they're directly forward and back. 
and then you've got energy through your fingertips and energy out your toes. You're gonna inhale, lengthen your limbs even further, and then exhale, float them down. So you're reaching toward the side walls. We're gonna do that with the opposite leg now. Left leg, right arm, inhale, lengthen, exhale, float them down. I'm gonna move away from this wall. Keep going right and left at your own speed. Every exhale, pull your belly button deep toward your spine as you pull the arm and leg back in. Strong core. Arm reaches by the ear. Remember, you're not trying to float the limbs up to the sky. They're going reaching to the side walls as if someone's pulling your foot and your fingertips at the same time. Do one more time, right and left. There we go. Once you're done with that time, right and left, bring your hips onto your heels and rest in a child's pose for two deep breaths. All right, float yourself back up to hands and knees. <laughs> Did you think it would be different? Tabletop class, all right. This time, making sure you're stacked underneath your joints again. Right fingertips gonna float right beside your ear. You're gonna twist as you inhale, looking up to the ceiling, opening your chest, pushing down into the floor with that left hand, and then exhale as you bring yourself back to center. Three more, inhale, twist up, look up. Exhale, back to center. Maybe each time you open your chest a little bit further, reaching that elbow to the back wall. This is our last one. Once you come back to center, you're gonna stretch your right arm out. This time, inhale up, twist up higher. And then on this exhale, you're gonna dive the right hand underneath the left. Maybe your right ear, right shoulder touches the floor. One moment before you inhale, twist back up. Open your chest, look up, look behind you. Exhale, dive it under. Do two more of these using your breath. After this last one, we're gonna stay in that down position and rest for two deep breaths. Maybe your ear touches the floor, shoulder touches the floor. Give yourself a little bit of pressure with your left palm, twisting yourself up to the sky. Maybe you look over your left shoulder. Take two deep breaths. Use your next exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees, and then immediately right fingertips right behind your right ear, elbows bent. Inhale, twist up to the left, look up, open your elbow. Exhale, bring yourself back to center. Three more, push down with that right palm, look up, twist up. Fill your chest up a little bit, and then exhale it all the way out. Two more, just like that. Take it slow, use your breath. After this last one, we come all the way back, extend your left arm out to the side, and then bigger, inhale, float up, look up, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, left hand dives underneath the right. Maybe your left ear, left shoulder touches the floor momentarily before you inhale, twist it back up, open your chest. And exhale, float it down. Really timing it with your breath and really think about how that exhale twists your body like you're wringing yourself out. After this next one, we're gonna stay in that wonderful down position. And take two deep breaths. <sighs> and give yourself a little bit of pressure on the floor here. Maybe you push up, look onto your right shoulder, take two deep breaths. Oh my 
back cracked. <laughs> and then your next exhale pushes you back to hands and knees. And then sink your hips onto your heels and relax in a child's pose for two deep breaths. another roll up through our spine keep your hips onto your heels chin into your chest roll up back to your knees again if this feels terrible you can totally sit up like this but this time we're going to make our wave so interlace your fingers and then start your wave and stretch your fingers out so we can go back to hands and knees and work on our glutes a little bit and then reverse your wave and then shake out your wave. All right, back to tabletop we go. Hands and knees stacked underneath your joints. Equal pressure, palms and fingertips into the floor. Tops of the toes resting on the floor, we move forward. All right, engage your abs. So no cow pose, no cat pose, neutral. <laughs> Belly button is fine. Stay in that position, send your right leg back with a flexed foot and a straight leg. Lift and lower this leg off the floor, kicking your heel up for eight. Seven, don't move the rest of your body. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, find your max. Keep your legs straight, pulse kick up for eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your butt, four, three, two, one. And then stop here, bend your knee and kick the sky for eight, seven. Make sure you're kicking directly to the sky. Six, five. Breathe, exhale, inhale, three, two, one, and then relax your foot, externally rotate the leg from the hip, bring the knee into the ear, and then kick back with the heel for eight, seven, inhale, six, exhale, four, three, don't sink into that left hip, two, <laughs> One, and then pull the knee into the ear, extend that leg out to the side like we did before with a flex foot. Down and up for eight. Squeeze. Seven, squeeze your butt up. There's six. Squeeze. Five. Whoo. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Energy out through that heel. Two. Last one. Stay strong. Push that leg back. Whoo. Relax in your child's pose. You can sink into your right hip if that feels good for you. Take two deep breaths. All right, use an exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees. If you need to, you can take a little bit of a backward here on the backs of your palms. Again, gentle pressure. Maybe you go in and out with the fingers. And then <laughs> back to hands and knees for left leg fun. So make sure you're stacked underneath your joints, your, ab your abs. <laughs> your abs are engaged. Send your left leg back with a flex fit straight leg parallel. Here we go, lift and lower, kick it up for eight. Don't move the rest of your body. Seven, six, squeeze your butt to lift. Squeeze, inhale, exhale. Three, two, last one, find your max with that straight leg and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then keep it there, bend your knee and kick directly up. Seven, six, keep your abs engaged. Five, four, I'm having trouble finding the ceiling. There it is. Two, one, and then externally rotate the leg from the hip, bring the knee into the ear. Kick out back for eight. Kick, seven, exhale, inhale, five, stay strong, really kick. Whoo, three, two, and then last one, bring that knee back into your ear, extend that leg out to the side with a straight leg flex foot, down and up for eight. Squeeze up, seven, six. Don't sink into your right hip, keep the two hips in line. Squeeze your butt, four, go to work, three, two. Last one, scoots the leg back, 
And then relax into your left hip in that child's pose if that feels good. Take two deep breaths. All right, one last roll up through our spine, one vertebrae at a time. Back to the knees. Again, if this feels terrible, feel free to sit up. We're gonna have our book, palms facing in, fold the fingers in, giving yourself gentle pressure on the back of your palm as you fold it all the way around. A Little bit of a massage before we finish with our bound opposition. <laughs> so if bound opposition's not happening, if you can't reach that back leg back there, you can totally, just stay in your balancing position and I'll show you the two different variations. So, oh, I said, I didn't say reverse. Hopefully you've reversed the direction of your circles here. Ooh. Question. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll see you later, Sharice. <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right, everyone else, back to your hands and knees. Stacked underneath your joints. So we're gonna try for our bound up position. If it doesn't work out, don't worry about it. Just stay in that balance. Engage your abs. Send your right leg back, straight leg pointed toe. Left arm reaches forward beside the ear. So if this is enough for you, you can totally stay here. But if you're feeling good, let's try for bound up position. It's gonna feel like a slingshot, that's okay. Bend your back knee. Reach around with this left hand and try to grab onto your foot. If you've got your foot, maybe you walk your hand to your ankle. If you've made it to your ankle, maybe you walk it to your shin. Then once you've got your choice of grabbing, you're gonna kick, energize that leg, kick it up back. But at the same time, stretch your chest and chin forward. <laughs> Slingshot. So kick up, look up. Take four deep breaths wherever you are. Press down to go up. Fill your chest up full of air. Long back, kick up, look for your foot. When you're done with all four breaths, lower yourself down and take a rest on your hands and knees. Deep breath. All right, now we're ready for the other side. Extend your left leg back, straight leg, pointed toe, right arm reaches forward, hair in my mouth, right beside your ear, engage your abs. If this is good, you're gonna stay here and just breathe for the duration of the rest of the exercise. If you're feeling good, bend your back knee. Reach around, grab onto your foot, maybe your ankle, <laughs> maybe your shin. Then push down to go up, stretch that leg back. So energize, you're not using your arm muscles, just that strong leg kick. Chest up, forward, look up, breathe, four deep breaths. Grow on your exhale. Once all the air is gone, lower yourself down and let's rest in our child's pose. Extend your arms out in front. Keep your hips onto your heels and if you can feel it, breathe into your lower back. Fill it up full of air. And exhale, let it go. And then roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna find a seated position to do just a little bit of a spinal twist to end our class. So find your legs in a pike out in front. First, we're gonna take our right leg, bend it, stack it over on top of the left leg. Make sure you're sitting up tall on both of your sits bones. Then left arm's gonna reach up and across over onto okay. this right leg. Then inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep that length on your exhale, twist to look over your right shoulder. You can walk this back hand back a little bit, but stay sitting up tall and we're gonna do two more of those deep breaths. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. 
And then roll yourself back, untwist. Extend your right leg forward, left leg turn, bend it on top, across on the other side. And then notice if you're like sitting back here, try to sit up tall, both sit bones are on the floor. This time right arm goes up, across this left leg. Then inhale, lift up out of your waist. On your exhale, keep the length, look over your left shoulder. And then two more breaths, just like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, relax in the shoulders. Once all the air is gone, return yourself back to center and then shake out your legs and breathe. <laughs> and that's all I have for you today. I hope those tabletop exercises felt good. Um, I really like tabletop exercises. I don't know why, just easy for me. <laughs> so hopefully they felt good for you too. And um, if you feel like having a relaxation, Take a relaxation and think about that breath, the exhale gets rid of that waste. So if you can get rid of whatever waste <laughs> is in your body using your exhales, and then your body will do it automatically during life and feel good all day long.